On Good Friday in Madison Square, tourists and locals alike were astounded to see archaeologists digging holes and sifting the soil. I looked out the window and I saw these funny looking things and I came out here to say and said, my goodness, what's going on? And I was fascinated to see what they're doing here. This is great to have all this Revolutionary War stuff that went on right across the street from your house and they're fi actually finding things. Quite a find it is, too. Numerous artifacts from the October 1779 Battle of Savannah, one of the bloodiest hours of the American Revolution. We knew that uh, one of the fortifications should be in this area here where the square is. We found two musket balls, one British, one probably French based on the caliber size. We found um, part of a um, handmade brass buckle, shoe buckle. Um, part of, well, a piece of Delfware, piece of, two, several pieces of creamware, which are all good period ceramics from that time period. Um, found lots of brick, which doesn't sound too exciting, but the neat thing about the brick fragments in this area is they're most likely um, brick coming from the barracks that was torn down in 1778 to beef up the fortifications that were all along here. So we've got a good tight 1779 strata we're digging through right now. Fittingly, the digging took place beneath a statue of William Jasper, one of the battle's heroes. But the work for the archaeologist actually started back at their headquarters in the Savannah History Museum, where team member Laura Seifert used special computer software to overlay historic maps of the battle on top of modern Savannah street maps. To do this on paper would be like using a copier a million different times. Basically, it allows us to take a map and almost act like it's rubber and stretch it and arrange it so that it fits properly with the modern day street map. Next, the team used special ground-penetrating radar to get a sneak peek below the soil okay. and then spent four days digging on less productive sites in Emmett Park on Bay Street before their amazingly successful one-day dig in Madison Square. Now they'll analyze their findings and decide what the next step should be. Reporting for CitySpan, I'm Michael Jordan.